Oh, uh, let's get to Texas right now, where inmate transports resumed today. They were paused following last month's escape by this man, uh, now deceased, Gonzalo Lopez, which led to a weeks long manhunt and the deaths of a family. He actually killed the prison driver of that bus uh, before killing that family. Ileana Diaz live with the latest on the state safety review and new protocols in place now. Ileana? Good morning, Adrian. Well, starting today, Texas inmates are going to see tougher security when they're transported. High risk inmates are no longer going to be transported with any other inmates. And prison officials tell us that they're going to be adding an extra officer to every van. Texas prison system officials are increasing their security measures after convicted murderer Gonzalo Lopez escaped from his prison van last month, then killed a grandfather and his four grandsons while on the run. Gonzalo Lopez broke out of his restraints and cage, stabbed the bus driver, and then led police on the largest manhunt in Texas history before being shot and killed by police. In response, Texas officials have stopped all non-emergency transportation. Now, Texas prison system officials said they're making significant changes. They're putting three corrections officers on each transport instead of the two. They're installing new video surveillance equipment on each transport bus. Inmates determined to pose the highest risk will be transported by themselves, and officials are working to enhance their on-site medical capabilities to reduce the need for more off-site transports. Now, Texas inmates are always strip searched before they leave the prison, but now prison officials say they're going to be implementing a new enhanced search, but they wouldn't share the details of that new search, obviously, because of security reasons. Adrian? All right, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate it, Ileana. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.